as for somebody who I would like to collaborate for, uh, collaborate with and do playback for, obviously I'd like to do playback for Shah Rukh Khan. I'd also love to do playback for uh, Ranveer Singh. I, I love you Ranveer Singh. You actually go with his vibe. Both of you yeah. have a very similar vibe. Yeah, no, he, he's dope. He's, he's actually, he's reached out. He's been really kind. He's been, uh, he's been a super, super dope dude. So I would love to do something with him at some point. I think we will. I think, I think that's in the cards. I, I think me and Ranveer will do something. You're, you're right. You have an announcement Listen. here. No, no, no. I don't have an announcement. I don't, I don't have an announcement, but he, he posted a picture on his Instagram recently with him with like long hair for like a Gucci campaign he did. And I was like, I DM'd him. I'm like, man, you got to at least tag me, man. You're taking my style here. <laughs> um, and then as for collaboration music wise, you know, I'd love to work with like A.R. Rahman, of course. Sukhwinder Singh is somebody whose voice I'd always uh, just treasured. For all film related interviews, reviews and content, please like and subscribe to Pooja Talwar. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Hi, nice meeting you. Tell me honestly, how much do you enjoy eating jalebis? Honestly, not that much. Can you believe it? Not that much. And nowadays, wherever I go, people just put a plate of jalebis in front of me. They expect me to eat the whole plate. I eat only one, say I'm full, and they get so offended. So I never thought that this would happen to me, that my I'd make a song called Jalebi Baby, and it would result in me being fed jalebis for the rest of my life. But uh, I'm trying to build up my taste to eat even more. They're just so sweet. I get you. I mean, that's what they say. Now, be careful about what you wish for. And man, yeah. manifest, you will get that. Jalebi exactly. has become an anthem. So what do you yeah. expect? You're just going to be served jalebis. Exactly. No, it's funny. Uh, somebody said, uh, I got all the jalebis and Jason got the baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, I must tell you from Alia Bhatia to everyone else I know has been grooving to this song. So did you anticipate that it would become the anthem? And, uh, you know, the summer anthem, I would say that it did. Yeah, I, you know, I did not anticipate that it would reach this crazy international level of success and notoriety but i did expect the song to be successful i think that when i made that song i was confident in it and i knew that there was something special in it that if it if it found the right audience and it had and people gave it a chance they would like the record but no for us to go you know over 100 million streams in the new version with jason derulo and you know all over instagram reels um i did not anticipate that no so honestly, you know, the way we consume music has changed in the past 18 months and, you know, no longer are the, you know, the labels are kind of dominating the artists. Now you have these streaming platforms. How do you think that has worked for you as an independent artist? And going forward, how do you plan to cash in on the success of Jalebi Baby? Because now it just goes up higher and higher. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I think that... Uh you know, the advent of platforms like TikTok and Instagram Reels is a, is a beautiful thing for any artist because, um, you know, I made Jalebi Baby in a bedroom. I, first time I ever stepped foot inside of a studio was at Jason Derulo's house. Um, so I just did everything by myself and put it onto TikTok and Instagram Reels. And once you give it to the people, it's the people that made the song big. It's just platforms like these have removed the barriers to entry. Uh, you don't no longer need a record label or the cosign of a radio station to get your music out to the masses. All you need now is a phone and everybody has a phone. So I think it's a it's a beautiful thing that's democratizing the whole music industry for artists internationally. As for where I go from here for Jalebi Baby, um, like you said, just 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, <laughs> just, yeah, I'm just going to keep going up and up. Honestly, I'm happy to have the opportunity after making music for 10, 15 years to finally hit a point where people are giving my music a chance and waiting to hear the next song. And there's enough international demand for it as well. So I just wanna keep making fun music that's authentic to me and hopefully the world keeps enjoying it. Yeah, and there is something about uh, Punjabi music, you know, the world groups to it. You may not understand the language, but Mm -hmm. The moment the dhol starts, everybody's hands go up, you know, and I like the way you blended that with American influences and international influences. But how mm -hmm. do you see our people consuming music? Because also there are no longer boundaries, you know, somebody can pick up a Tamil song and just 
put in something there. So what's yeah. been your observation? I I think it's great. I think that, um, you know, the, the new generation of South Asian artists in India and abroad are influenced by music from all over the world. Just because I'm from Canada doesn't mean I'm the only one out here listening to 50 Cent and Playboy Cardi and Ed Sheeran and all these other artists. People in India are growing up listening to the same music too. So all of us are going to make music that is going to uh, have influences from all over the world and music is going to evolve and change. As for how our music is going to grow internationally, I think you're right. Punjabi music does have that vibe. And there's even, you know, even Tamil music has danceable elements to it too. I think it's up to us to draw on parts of our culture that we really love and mix it in with other kind of influences and have fun with it and present it to uh, Western audiences in kind of different unique ways that they may not even heard. Like, for example, a lot of people, when they think of like Indian music, they'll just think of a sitar and think of just like Carnatic kind of style music. They don't think of Jalebi Baby because that's like half Latin, half Arabic, half Indian, half this, half that. So, uh, and and they like it because they just they just don't know. So um, I think the more that us, that us South Asian artists can draw on our heritage and our identity and find new ways to present it to the world, it just helps grow our culture and introduce more people to our music and our sound. Totally. And I must tell you, I belong to the college generation, Didi, when it came out. So everybody mm. here in India was he's saying, Didi, that sister, you know, yeah, yeah. How everyone finds a resonance with their own culture, like Jalebi exactly. and Baby. Chalo, and you go to any Indian Mithai yeah. shop, Jalebi Milti hai. But what, yeah. another of your songs that I enjoyed was Young Shah Rukh, because I think mm. for Shah, everyone, uh, you know, grew up in the 90s, Shah Rukh Khan is an emotion, you know, yeah. so any Bollywood influences who has like kind of influenced you and anyone you would want to collaborate with and do playback for three questions in one. Oh boy. Well, people in Bollywood that have influenced me, I think Shah Rukh Khan is the biggest influence. I think in a lot of, in a lot of ways, I think just the way that, uh, I mean, I have always loved his work uh, and his, yeah. and his films. And he's always, I, I always love the fact that what he did was he, chose you know first he did all the hits you know he made a name for himself doing a lot of hit movies romance romantic hero but he never it seemed like shied away from even though he was even a big superstar doing things that were different and i really respect that because that's what i try to do with my art as well like jalevi baby if we're and young shara those aren't your typical records at all uh and to find the parallel with Shah Rukh khan like for him to like play a little person when he's the biggest Bollywood movie star or do a, a movie like Fan, which is like, like him playing a double role and the double role is basically like himself, like he, and playing a superhero. Like he always took pretty unorthodox choice. And even early on in his career too, when he did like Bazigar and stuff like that, Divana, like I, you can tell I'm a big Shah Rukh Khan fan, um, but uh, I always awesome. respected that. Yeah, yeah, I always respected that. And I mean, that's why in the song, I feel like Shah Rukh Khan, the whole reason I say I feel like Shah Rukh Khan is because like you said, Shah Rukh Khan is an emotion to the people that grew up in the 90s and saw all those movies. All I have to say is I feel like Shah Rukh Khan and they'll know that I, I feel like the king. I feel like I'm the coolest guy around. People from my generation will always understand what that means. As for somebody who I would like to collaborate for, uh, collaborate with and do playback for, obviously I'd like to do playback for Shah Rukh Khan. I'd also love to do playback for uh, Ranveer Singh. I, I love Ranveer Singh. You will actually go with his vibe. Both of you yeah. have a very similar vibe. Yeah, no, he, he's dope. He's, he's actually, he's reached out. He's been really kind. He's been, uh, he's been a super, super dope dude. So I would love to do something with him at some point. I think we will. I think, I think that's in the cards. I, I think me and Ranveer will do something. You're, you're right. You have an announcement Listen. here. No, no, no. I don't have an announcement. I don't, I don't have an announcement. But he, he posted a picture on his Instagram recently with him with like long hair for like a Gucci campaign he did. And I was like, I DM'd him. I'm like, man, you got to at least tag me, man. You're taking my style here. <laughs> um, and then as for collaboration music wise, you know, I'd love to work with like A.R. Rahman, of course. Sukhwinder Singh is somebody whose voice I'd always uh, just treasured and, and cherished and I'd love to produce for him or, or sing with him uh, and also a lot of Punjabi singers too I think Biljeet Dosanjh is somebody who I'd also love to do a record with one day too 
you and Diljit sir vibe also kind of matches because I met him, met Ranveer mm-hmm. as well. I think you guys will be in sync with each other as they say. Nice. Good. My <laughs> head's in the right place then. <laughs> <laughs> so where do we go from Jalebi Baby? What's coming next? Ah oh, man, I I'm just working on music. I've just got a lot more music that I'm uh, I'm producing and singing and rapping on and a lot of it's upbeat. I want to keep making some upbeat music. I love making music that people can you know play at weddings and uh you know listen to with their friends and with their family and really make a part of their lives. So I think we're going to stick with this kind of upbeat wave I've got going on and yeah, I just want to enjoy that this uh that this moment is happening and take it as far as i possibly can few people get to uh you know do their art on this grand of a scale and i don't take it for granted at all so i just want to keep going and hopefully the audience will just uh enjoy the art that i continue to make for them so when i was uh, watched your song jalebi baby and after that i just like on youtube put a search so i had a video of alia bhat dancing at her friend's wedding then i had a pakistani mm. bride dancing at her wedding to jalebi baby so i just yeah. felt how you know music kind of blurs borders and boundaries and it mm-hmm. you know kind of that vibe that everyone even if and then you had also the american dancing to jalebi baby wouldn't understand but it's just the music that makes you groove to it you know so that was mm-hmm. extremely heartening to see have you seen any one of the videos and which was the one that kind of touched you Oh man, I like there's been so many. That's been my favorite thing about this current generation that we live in. Like I I've been making music for years and a lot of times when I would put it out it would be on YouTube and SoundCloud and all I would see is the view number go up. But now I get to see all the videos of people actually bringing my music into their lives, which is wonderful. I think one of the like one of the coolest things that I saw was um these uh well I saw a Korean uh boy who just tried his best to rap the entirety of Jalebi Baby even though like you know it's in Hindi and or sorry it's in Punjabi Hindi and English and this is this kid is in Korea and he's trying to like say the wow. words and he's like dancing too he's a young kid too and i'm just like man i never would have thought that man Korea are you kidding me even like and when the song blew up in Turkey there's like Turkey like people in Turkey just vibing out to it in the club It's been really the people from places that I would have never expected uh the song to reach really embracing it that has really made me feel like okay I've created something that is truly special and is um affecting people in a positive way. And who would have thought that Sirpi Jalebi is now has got global status? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> honestly, I feel I man, I I feel like they're going to start upcharging for jalebis in the in all the restaurants internationally. It's going to be a gourmet a, a uh, dish at Michelin star restaurants in Europe just watch <laughs> yeah i wouldn't be surprised jalebi cheesecake jalebi mousse you don't know what's coming yeah. away yeah <laughs> <laughs> i got to get my royalties in, in check <laughs> exactly because these days one has to be really careful because everybody wants to get keep another content you know oh, that's yeah. the downside of being on internet because anyone can claim that hey you've been influenced by me so you know mm-hmm. oh yeah absolutely for sure What do you actually want to see change in the music business now going forward because no longer are the label dominating we don't have our concerts it's all online streaming but as an independent musician what is that one change you hope to see Oh man I I I would hope to see more resources for just education about um how new artists can uh, not only put their music out and as well as for when they kind of come to the part, point where they might be trying to sign their first record deal or partner with a company to make sure that they're not making any mistakes in signing that contract and those deals that that may come across to them. So like for example, there's a lot of people who I know till this day don't know that they don't need a record label to put their music on Spotify or iTunes or Apple Music. you can just use a third party music distribution service and just put it on anybody can do it so and a lot of people just think that they have to pay a lot of money and they just kind of screw themselves uh trying to do that a lot of people think that they can't make their music they have to go to a studio to make their music that's also not true all you have to do is just get like a phone honestly you can do everything on a phone you can make a full song just off of an iPhone these days um and then for you know contracts like 
I feel like I watched a lot of YouTube videos and read a lot of stories about rappers that I loved um, just not being like going through the right channels and getting caught in deals that didn't serve them well in the long term um, and just weren't the right fit for them. And I think that I think things are going to change and there's a lot of information out there on YouTube, but I think it's also there's a way to go for more of that information to rise to the top where it's more easily accessible. And, um, but I think we're headed in the right direction though. I think as music becomes more and more decentralized and less, uh, there's less barriers to entry, there will be more for people to learn easily uh, with, with things like YouTube and, and stuff like that. So Absolutely. we're on the right track. Absolutely. So before we go, other than Jalebi Baby, which is that one song on loop that you listen to? Oh my God. Um, right now it's Indie Ghetto from J Balvin and Skrillex. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know if that's the answer you're looking for, but no, love, okay. love me some good Spanish music. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Bongo Cha 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 seems to be an anthem here, you know. Everyone's real as Bongo Cha Cha Cha. I totally get that. So before we go, can you wrap a little for our, your fans here in India? Just a little bit of message that you want to give out to them? Sure thing, okay. Yo, it's your boy Tesher. I'm out here having a good time on good times. Hope you guys are also having a good time. I know that life is crazy right now, but listen, you got to keep dancing, stay positive, and we're all going to be okay. Why am I saying this such a d depressing message? It's because oh, I just did a thing for COVID earlier. Okay, let me try <laughs> that again. Okay, hold on a second. Yo, it's your boy Tesher. I'm having a good time here on good times. Hope you guys are having a good time as well. Keep streaming Jalebi Baby, and I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying my music. Take care. Bye-bye. If you've liked this interview, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram.